plunging back into the hole. We're not exploring that area just yet. I want to see what's at the bottom of this dilapidated, buried town that has been submerged the moor ruins. All right, all right, let's carry on. Down and down into the depths of the earth. There is nothing here other than a dude. Oh, I don't appreciate that. Yeah, loot, yeah, loot, though. Red flesh mushroom. Uh, <laughs> is it just the one path and that's it? I really thought that there was a place to go down here. But no, it's all just a passage. I thought for sure it was like a, you know, anyway. There's no fork in the road. There's only a massive submersion under the mountain just to go over to the other side. Well, let us explore the Bonnie Village. Maybe there will be something amazing in here. Perhaps the bunnies will become giant wear bunny monsters. And if we are about to be attacked by the most horrendous, once again, <laughs> every single time. Go back over here, They'll turn on the auto HUD. Uh, it could be probably a lot of fun to, and, you know, pretty also frustrating to play without the HUD. There's just a naked man over there. Just, just regular, plain old naked man with a giant knife. This really reminds me of all my horny teenage dreams. Greater Potentate. Okay. Let me uh, show you my incredible... <laughs> incredible power over your... Oh, your... Uh, uh, Landowning... Okay, well, Mr. Potentate. Uh, maybe you are... Not that of soft hands like the other... Potentate. Okay, that was kind of weird. I know that you're sharpening it, but it just looks like you're cutting yourself like a total emo boy. Just naked emo weirdo. Here, eat my palm. <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's a huge uh, pile of damage. Damn. Pretty good. I mean, I think it's sharp enough, but <laughs> you got it. Uh, instead of a fighter, we got a super OCD opponent that just could not stop himself from sharpening his blade in the middle of battle. That's a thing you do later around a campsite. You absolute buffoon. You don't just sharpen your, your weapon in the middle of fighting your opponent. Holy crap, these guys are master slappers. Check out my incredible kicks to your face. I don't, know, I, I don't know if I'm fond of this martial arts. It's cool. I like that it exists. I don't think it's my thing. I like big, fat, meaty weapons crashing upon my opponents as opposed to just punching and kicking them into submission. I'll save that for Tuesday Night Dungeon with all of my sub friends. This may not be the soul's style that I want to go with. I must have all the loot though. It, it is mine. It belongs to me. What do you got? A broken rune? How exciting. You can ride over here, right? This is like open air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on top of those rooftops. Let's take a good look at everything that I can see. I'll let you know what I can find. Uh, I'm going to see what whether there's anything interesting on these rooftops. I doubt it. Absolutely nothing to report, other than a pretty neat ambush opportunity. Murder the crap out of these idiots. Get destroyed. These poor bastards. They have not suffered enough. They have not burned Mesmer's flame enough. They need to be victims of the flaming fist. Extend the suffering of the master slappers for a little bit longer and take all their resin and delicious mushrooms out of their pockets. Hey, bunny butcher knife. Seems like a really uh, the same, same old butchering knife. I actually have some 
really nice set of butchering knives. Uh, they're dex weapons, though. Maybe this one will be strength-based. Like, they should be! A giant butchering knife and you give them dex scaling? What the hell kind of nonsense is that? Let's check it out. Uh, inventory. Weapon of the greater potentates of Bonnie Village. An outsized butcher's cleaver used to dismember human bodies in the making of the great jar stored in the jails. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Hone blade gives you better. Increase the amount of HP. All right, all right. Uh, but another dex weapon uh, <laughs> dexterity requirement. Makes no sense. How dexterous do you need to be to wield a giant knife? I guess you kind of have to be fairly dexterous in order not to stab yourself like a buffoon. Uh, shall I drop into the crag? Or shall I burn them to a crisp? Ooh! The seas of madness shall spread through this land as well. Die! Uh, I guess I'll drop down there. What's the worst that can happen, right? What's the worst that can happen? Just go down? Give me this living jar bone shard, human shard, living jar shard. Mmm, most exciting loot 2024. Another freaking dog. Punch it into submission. Here's some negative reinforcement for you. Bad dog! More ashes that I'm not interested in. I mean, at one point I might. That's why I'm always mildly excited about getting the ashes. At some point, excuse me, it's just some weirdo, <laughs> some other player having the same experiences as I. Um, at some point, I may be broken down to the point I want to summon Sweet Oral Ferrolina, the Jar Right fella, one of them, you know, the fella with, oh man, another potent date. He was not a unique fella. It's just, it's just not worth it, buddy. It's not worth it. I'm just going to come in here and loot your village. Not give a crap. I want that mushroom. I need it. <laughs> that was such a waste. Not give one half rotten crap about your potentates. Of course we're going to kill the potentates. Who the hell do you think you are? We're going to take over this land. That being said, please, just, just land the attack bottle. It's really not that hard to punch a dog in the head. We've done it so many times in the wet Asian markets. Just to test their metal. Make, what? Well, here's a frenzy flame opportunity. Ooh, oh, yeah. First, you succumb to Mesmer's flame. Now you die. To the best yellow flame. There's two potentates over there just marching in unison. <laughs> wow. That was uh, a lot of damage, please. I would rather not engage. How about you eat this palm? I thought that was a longer reach than that. Well, you, you keep <laughs> sharpening that. See how it works out for you. Buddy. This is getting ridiculous. You are... You are... You are kind of stupid, aren't you? You're just really dumb. <laughs> You're just not terribly intelligent. You're just terribly weird person. Seems like uh, it does heal them for a decent amount of health. It's okay. We'll just set him on fire real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you visit yourself sharpening that. Eat! my super key straight to your anus where did the other guy go there's no potentates can withstand my assault where you carry it's a bunch of roasted apples there's no harvest here the only harvest is the harvest of your soul by my fist this guy seems to have reset a great opportunity to burst in full of flame Oh, that's a ow. That's a quite resilient. Is he resilient to flame, or is it that they are 
damage sponges. I think they're just damage sponges. Nope. Really like the running jump uh, uh, kick attack. It's very good. Very fancy. Ah. Look. Get martial art, bitch. All right. Okay. Another potentate murdered. One step closer to claiming this land as my own. Please, please. <laughs> Those rotten apples. Roasted apples. Straight to the head. Extremely unpleasant experience. Okay, we done? Have I taught these scum lords a lesson? I believe so. Yet one more resists. Oh, good. So now, there's some bridges still. Still, Bonnie Village is going on. There's also a path that keeps going that way. I see loot. I must have the loot. But uh, don't let me stray too far. I want to continue exploring this wonderful village. Is it protected by one of the weirdos that perch? Uh, sir, your head. <laughs> it's being chopped clean off. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. Seek castle and then try gesturing. Seems familiar. Show me, show me. Let's, uh, let us not remember this exists. Uh, go away, erudition. Where are you, old mother? Grovel for mercy. That's my favorite activity. Old mother. Old mother. Please. Old mother. There you go. Mommy! Mommy! Maybe there will be a nice statue to plead for mercy at the feet of. Looking forward to it. Either way, there's just absolutely nothing back here. Let's get back to the village. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, there was uh, some kind of uh, molting, some metamorphosis going on over here. Oh, the messages disappeared. I wanted to read them. Is this a Rikard reference? I guess we'll find out at some point. Okay, these bridges lead away and towards that weird-ass church at the top. Let's go to the other bridge that seems to be a closer, closer dead end. I'm ignoring you fools. I'm so sick of killing the lot of you. You're pathetic. Take a quick pick r r over here. It doesn't seem to be anything, but sometimes at the edge there will be like a something to jump down. Nah. All right, all right. Let's go to the bridge. See what lies on the other end. I haven't even looked. Seems like also going elsewhere, but feels like this will not lead anywhere very uh, involved, very important. Perhaps a dungeon. I see a side of grace. No. Uh, they did mention jails. What are you? Ugh. Don't even want to kill you, bud. Don't really care. Ah, that looks like a dungeon to me. Another one of them jails full of jar men. Very disturbing crap. Looking forward to it. I will totally uh, jump in there. Elden Ring, though, it never does the same theme twice unless it's lore. Specific, I will be very surprised if it's full of weird jar men and it ends in a demi human again. That will be pretty freaking funky. I'm sick of, I don't, I don't like these martial arts, honestly. I like my weapons. Let me swap around. I feel like I didn't give, give these axes a whole lot of uh, playtime. So let's do some sweet jump attacks, which reminds me do we need the Earth Tree's favor? We really don't, so we can uh, swap to the jump attack talisman. There you go. That will make it so that... Because, you know, the best move you got for a moveset that is staggered like this, jump attacks all the way. It's a ton of damage. All right, it kind of starts the same, huh? I guess we'll see. We'll see if it gets a little bit better. Ugh. Disgusting! 
Is it a different model? Is it the exact same model? Hard to say. I think it's the same model. They really should have put a few different models, you know. For those Jarmen. Because they would all be malformed in different ways. Did I even rest? Eh, good enough. Nine, nine health. Health pools is good enough for me. Yep, yep, give me the thing. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course I'm being ambushed. How about you taste the lightning to your face? Oh, that's right, you need to. Do it. <laughs> it's badass. But I can see how you miss that every single time. Die, die a million deaths. You scum lord. Gotta say, the roasted dudes here, they really do get old. Uh, perhaps slightly overused enemies. I understand that, you know, they are the populace of this place that got roasted by the Messner attackers, is the way I understand it. Anyway, he's hungry, though. He's a real hungry boy. Very rude of you. Um, but they do get pretty old. That just drops down. Let's see what's out there. Probably should I use my runes, but whatever. I live on the edge of danger, baby. Clearly, we can jump down. I guess it's a matter of which path down do you want to follow. Let's go down the jars. Maybe even... Oh, oh, this is actually moving. Maybe it even connects somewhere. Does it keep going? No. Does this call it? I have no idea. Lift ahead. Hello. More weird ambushers. This is, this is why these uh, axes did not take... A, Long for me to dismiss them. This staggered moveset is just kind of ass. It's just not not really fun to play with. I bet it's a good damage dealer and all that, but meh. Yeah, <laughs> you scum lord, get destroyed. How could you? Off you go down to the pits of the abyss. You absolute buffoon, trying to ambush me with your squishy top. That's so many of them. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. This thing can kill me, actually. Yep. Yep, yep, sure. The, yeah, it can because these axes did not stagger it in the slightest. How about some good old butt attack? To suck! Oh man, I'm still fat rolling, huh? I'm fat rolling as a result of this heavy grave scythe. I haven't used the grave scythe in this entire playthrough. I mean, we, we, it used to be our mainstay. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Let's see. Can you maybe... Oh, yeah. There you go. That's, that's good enough. This new armor from the DLC, from the Knight of Solitude, or whatever the hell his name is. It is such a massive pile of poise, and it's so stylish. really like it. Become my armor of choice for sure. So is there a path down, or what's going on here? Am I supposed to call the damn elevator again? Let's come down? Yeah. So what was the point of <laughs> the point of going down here? Is there a point at all? Feels like a massive waste of time. I mean, this does go up a little bit further, but it does absolutely nothing for me. I guess we are just going down the shaft. Rah! Still de decent damage even without the electrification. Electrified armor. It took for quite a while. Mmm, but attack! Oh, you assholes! You <laughs> scum lord! They're just hungry boys. They are just. have been down here starving forever. Okay. Nice, beautiful, anal assault. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are excited to see me. I am not. Too dark. Bring on the light. Broken rune. Aha! Uh -huh. Told you, told you guys that it starts the same and then, and then, it becomes a completely different dungeon. I like it. Liar ahead. First off here. Yeah, there's down, there's up. You normally want to go up in a dungeon. Usually that's where the loot is at. And then later you go down. Worrisome. Like when the area opens up, 
enemy starts scurrying toward you. It's just the Herald of Ruin. Maybe some other horrible monster. Laning wait! Nothing so far though, just a bunch of filthy rats. Sure. Some in stone too. <laughs> oh man, I treasure them greatly. I'm so happy. Well, clearly we're going up this ladder, but of course we're going to go back. Okay. You absolute filth! Man, so much better than, than the Axis Stalwart Horn Charm. That just gives me some uh, type of resistance, huh? Robustness. Covers resistance to bloodless and frost. Horns of sublime artifacts to horn scent. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe this opens? No. Uh, and then just drops down to the place we're at. So, back into the hole with me. Let's go down the other path. And I have a bad feeling about this. Let me give me a little bit of protection. To hand that scythe. And let's go deeper. Into this horrible... No, I'm being eaten <laughs> by a blob. Not even worth... Not even worth stopping. Just keep running. I refuse to fight blobs in Elden Ring anymore. They are just so freaking obnoxious. Uh, it's not that they're obnoxious. They're literally the least entering interesting enemy in the entirety of the game. I always feel like Miyazaki should be ashamed for including blobs anywhere in any dungeon. They're so lazy. Like, I understand they may make sense. Ah! They may make sense from lore perspective. And it's like, if you remove all blobs from Elden Ring and all the Souls games, do you really lose anything? The answer is a resounding no. No, you lose absolutely nothing. Not even an iota of valuable lore information or world building. I have a real beef against blob usage <laughs> in, in all the Souls games. And basically any game, but it's not Dungeons and & Dragons and a slime cube. At least it has a cube shape. I can get behind a cube shape for a blob. Okay, Alexander clone. Let me just murder you real quick. I was really hoping that the, the dungeon was opening up. But no, it's just more freaking jars. How about you get a taste of my butt? Ah, uh, don't get surrounded. That's how you die. Two trivial enemies. Whoopla! Kabubo. That's 3200 damage on that. A square anal hit. Please, land the attacks, butthole. I know that you like to attack with your butt cheeks. But you also need to hit with the scythe, okay? Really like this attack. It's just so cool. It's perhaps the coolest scythe attack. No, actually, the attack after this. No, no. There's one attack. I think it's just the attack after rolling. It's just so cool and, and fast. Aha, the attack after crouching. It is such a badass move. It just looks good, you know? You know what I'm saying, brother? Uh, Alright. That goes up. Clearly, we need to have the loot. Are you just sleeping? Attack! No naps. Are you the guardian? Are you full of disgusting Jarman? I really don't want to know. Oh, yeah. Try finger butthole. Try finger butthole. Rump ahead. Try fingers. <laughs> Well done. Well done, fellow gamers. Let a butt not go unmolested in the ring. You must always write that, no matter what. Okay, so this possibly... Re no, it just keeps on going. I think that just keeps on going. With that, the electrification, the damage is not close to as good. Still good, though. I'm down with it. Uh, let's go up. Clearly, they not need the protection. Oh, well, there's also a spot over there. 
I think I'll be able to access it if I go if I go up this path back here. Let's find out. Yeah, this is, the, this is the way. Let's see what lies at the top of this. Oh, this is where it came from, isn't it? Oh, my bad. I was trying to see maybe there's some parkour I can do, but I don't think so. I think you just reach that from a different spot. Just carry on. Jump because it looks like an abyss. Okay, it's not. It's just a great. No ambush, huh? I really expect it to be assaulted through horrible means. There you go. <laughs> There's the ambush. Filth! Oh, you're not dead. That uh, flesh shotgun can really ruin your, di your day. Wow, what a shot. What an attack. It can really ruin your day if it catches you point blank. That thing slithering out. Yep, yep, sure is. Freaking disgusting. <laughs> why, why are you doing this? Why have to be like this, Miyazaki? Why can't there be just wolves and giant bears? Men with swords. No, it has to be the disgusting flesh mound ready to swallow you with its tentacle. Trying to see if there's any kind of uh, nonsense to gather, but there's absolutely nothing. We carry on. Buff myself. More jars breaking. I, I must say, I am fairly disappointed with this jail. Because we already we already beat this, right? We already had an experience that is really, really similar to this. I really thought that it would change as we go deeper. It's just another jail full of Jarmin. And roasted boy. Not exciting at all. See, I am not a Miyazaki Glazer. I am not unanimously and relentlessly praiseful of the Elden Ring DLC. Nobody has leveled that accusation at me, but I'm just... You know, I, I've been pretty consistent being very impressed with it. And this is the, the spot where I'm like, eh. Eh. Did you really need to include this if you're, you weren't going to do anything different with it? This jail. I understand that, you know, one more than, more than one jail makes sense in your, in your horrible land of, of disasters. But, uh... I, I need to see it. You could have just put the entrance there, and I could have imagined that is, you know, it's another jail. Are you going down? It's automatic. It sends my presence. High tech sensors going on in this in this thing. Try and look carefully. Okay. I hear something. I turned down the speakers so there won't be an echo. Oh, it's just this idiot crying. Let me just kill him. There's no weeping in the lands of shadow. Pathetic. Yeah, oh, look, a uh, uh, jar's break as I come across. Oh, uh, it is a grab attack. It, uh, it just gives me a, such a wonderful hug. I feel so much warmer now. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a grab attack. It always felt like it was just thrusting at me in a vaguely sexual manner. Dodge the shit out of you, you scum lord. Still though, it feels like I should kill them all. Like, these might be the most miserable creatures that we have encountered in the entire history of Elden Ring. Perhaps... Perhaps right level there with the Albinoric in prison in uh, the Volcano Manor. They're right up there, right? They're all equally murderous, but... Mm, it seems like these guys, you know, it's a tough lot in life. The thing is, the Albinorics, they were just basically... Basically victims of ethnic cleansing. Whereas these are criminals. I mean, are the criminal uh, the, the punishments justified? Uh, you'll have to ask the authorities on that. But 
Uh, they're supposed to be criminals being punished. So my sympathy is limited. Maybe they fully deserve it. Deserve to be in this horrendous place. Okay, bud, what you got? Crusade... Cursebane Labyrinth. Uh, I cannot see you. <laughs> You're invisible! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This ain't right. This ain't right. Bot attack! Wow, that was... I mean, it does a lot of damage. Like a massive pile of damage. I don't appreciate you, though. I mean, you take a ton of damage, though. You should die fairly soon. I see you disappear, so let me just... Show you my asshole. Didn't work out. <laughs> it seems like you're volunteering for dying, however. Because I am doing an insane pile of damage. And that's probably because I have been using the Skibbity Tree for fragments at every turn. I make zero apologies for that. I will never do it. Not going to get myself in any capacity. I guess uh, we're done. Well, that was a that was a jail. I guess <laughs> that, was, that felt that had the same feeling as the copy and paste dungeons that you encounter, the catacombs that you encounter uh, in the first half of Elden Ring, the, the vanilla experience. The catacombs get so much more interesting later on. I would say Radan and onwards. The catacombs get super cool, or much cooler on average, but they are so disposable, so interchangeable, and so forgettable before then. I felt the same way going through that dungeon, it's like, what? Why am I doing this again? Hey, it's actually stuff down there, huh? Whoa, 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 don't, don't jump off the freaking bridge, you idiot. You buffoon. Moran? Alright, let's go over to the other bridge. Carry on forward. Eventually, I'm sure we'll end up at the bottom of this entire place. Did stuff respawn? Even the potentates respawn, huh? Clearly, we're not fighting them again. Right, let's see what's in this burnt shack. Well, that was Bonnie Village. What a wonderful tourist attraction. Took a nice bit of pictures. Talked to the local... Wildlife Whipping Hut. Tooth Whip. Gee, wonder if those are real to teeth attached to that whip. <laughs> Certainly an interesting name. Also the Curse Blade Mira. Wow, that's a lot of... That, I ain't reading all that. T too long didn't read. As the wounds ripen, the growing flame, you... And oozed pus! <laughs> that's nasty, really. I knew, I knew it would be nasty. I'm still grossed out. With bestrewn. I love that word. Bestrewn. With rotting, misshapen teeth. Filthy and seething with disease. The teeth are embedded in the whip and dose the victim with deadly poison upon each strike. I think deadly poison is not just poison. It's like the, the stronger version of poison. As the wound ripen. Ripe, and the wounds ripen, they grow inflamed and ooze pus. The flesh of shamans was sated to meld harmoniously with others. Absolutely disgusting. Miyazaki strikes you again. Index weapon, though. No thanks. Something I have neglected completely to do is to memorize... Uh, I'm pretty sure we found one or two new miracles. My bad. Incantations. And uh, I have yet to memorize them and check them out. So is the bottom of this... Did we go through it? Through it? No, no. We haven't been. But we will be. We will be. You know that it, they're part of the map. They're definitely going to be visited. Hey, there's a side of grace. Let me see if we can memorize all the new things. Let's check out these golden arcs. Put them in the last slot because it's the disposable slot. Pretty hard to get there, but doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Golden arcs. Okay. That's pretty cool. Just a standard, bog standard projectile. Feels like uh, it doesn't have a reason to exist, but <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's carry it on and let's see. Use it against an enemy or, or seven. See how it do. Okay, so there's a path that goes very obviously to the mega church. Here, what, what? 
What's this noise? Oh! Somewhere, a great rune has broken. And so too has a powerful charm. What? Oh, that's so interesting. What does that mean? That's so funky. Was that just by virtue of walking in here? Yeah, wolves. <laughs> I was just saying, oh, I wish they were wolves instead of horrible meat monsters. Careful what you wish for, buddy. Oh, attack. No, it lift. It, it lift. Did it vanish forever? Do I need to go? Or do I need to attack it from afar? Let's just respawn it, I guess. Might as well get ourselves that 30th point of endurance. And that's where my endurance is going to cap off, I think. 30 is damn good. And now I'm like... Get mine to 30. Is that what I want to do with my, my 14 levels that I have left? Or do I want to just go out, all out on strength and just do a ton of damage, as much damage as possible? Not really care about all the other stats. Or, you know, it could be argued, just put 20 points in dexterity so you can use all those other weapons. But nah, I'll just swap amulets. Let's just crank up strength. It was going to go up to 64, and that's where my build is going to end up. I think that's a decent way of uh, doing things. Let's see. We have my frenzied burst. Let's see if we can attack that scarab from afar. That's a worrisome sight. Why did I have to say giant wolves and bears? The game is like he was listening to me. Oh, yeah, I can lock on, baby. Let's see. Who? <laughs> Raging Beast. Seems like a literally an Ash of War for the fist weapon. Uh, my my point of endurance was not applied. What the hell is going on? Am I stupid? Did I just not use it right? That may very well be the case. I don't know what the hell that was about. I just never clicked confirm, I guess. Alright. 30 points of endurance. We have a new Ash of War that I'm probably going to forget immediately. And we carry on up the path. What lies at the top of the path? I guess we'll find out in the next episode.